All right. Holy fucking shit, y'all. This took way longer than it's necessary for me to find this goddamn water. I'll have you know. It was awful. Is what it was, really. But truly, truly honest. It was cancerous. If you want to compare how many fucking of these little doll things I had before to now, I'll fucking go right ahead. God damn. Fucking craft this now. There. Ugh. Gwen's got something to eat at least. <clears throat> Incidentally, I had water. I had canteens. Son of a bitch! It, it occurred to me after I got back into my house, after I had found a canteen off in the boonies, and brought it back after breaking into like two houses, I finally found one. It occurred to me maybe, just maybe, I put it like a, a canteen in my fucking storage or something. And lo and behold, I fucking had one. I'm a little upset by that. Anyway, let's uh, I'm gonna store all my crafting stuff again. I'm gonna store everything that I don't. Actually, I'm gonna save those. I'm just gonna like save everything that I want to sell. I think. But I also kind of put away for now. Yeah. Back to the container. Real quick. Sold a bunch of other random stuff as well, so that that'll help. Give me all these bottles. I'll sell all these bottles since they don't have a use. Any scotch? Am I out of scotch? I think I'm out of scotch. Yep, okay. Excellent. Let's feed this fucking child. Here we go, darling. Baby milk. You won't believe what mommy had to do to get this for you. Well, I'll never tell you, frankly. Who's at the bloody door now? Sweet dreams. I wish you could dream about the countryside. When we were small, my sisters and I loved spending holidays at my grandmother's. I didn't realize it was so mum could spend a few days without having to worry about keeping everyone safe and alive. It does something to your head, being a mum. But you just go to sleep. Yeah. Okay. Incidentally, if you're curious where all I went, here's the goddamn map. So I went up to Maidenholm, searched everywhere, found nothing. Not even the, uh, the Cuddy shop or the Shady Dealer or anyone had fucking canteens. Also, I somehow glitched the area up here. And there was like three... Um, those joy detectors that I just like hacked into then ran away and hid and apparently I like didn't get on like mob mentality <laughs> like as soon as I like everyone disappeared and they were gone normally I would get out of a trash can and they'd be like oh, okay and then uh, I could go about my business um, but I had that frowny face at the top that you see there which I think I still have for some reason why do I have that still I'm not using a weapon, though. There we go. It got stuck in a weird state, so... The one that I got stuck in before was called Vandal, apparently. Apparently I was some sort of Vandal for destroying those things, which... Honestly, I don't think I could get out of without having to restart, so I did. So we should be good now. Let me go ahead and just get these goddamn things ready for when I eventually need to use them again. Oh yeah, I guess we can take a look at our stats now. It's a little bit of a different layout. I want this one. People ignoring my uh, annoying habits. Um, that's going to be probably my first goal there. I also looked and I didn't see anything that allowed me to actually like take down bigger people or anything more survival ish you know? Mm -hmm. Better prices when buying and selling. Heals better. Um, get the best prices. 
Uh, find fancier loot. Uh, joy lasts longer and gives you less of a hangover. Also, we're taking joy, I guess. Okay. Uh, carry more weight. Crafted weapons and atomizers wear off half as quickly. And no negative effects from hunger, thirst, or fatigue. So rather than this being over here, it's over here now. So, but yeah, I think what we'll do is we will go down this route. Just so we can uh, get to the route of not being aggravating to people when we move around. Now we can actually uh, speed things up quite a bit rather than having to walk everywhere. Which is what I ended up fucking doing. Anyway, I think we have a door, right? Uh, what have we buried? Yeah, I found something in Maiden Hole that I got to add. And there's also this, uh, this Pankers, which makes stuff. Okay. I just need to come back in three days for the other thing there, so... Yeah. Close, close door. There we go. What? Show it above you, ma'am. The edge is, uh... Wondering if you've got any blackberry ready for him. Oh! I'm working on it. In a day or two, I hope. The lads is getting a mite twitchy, to tell you the truth. I must ask you to uh, accompany me to the station, so you can explain yourself to them precisely. Okay. I don't understand the worry. Haven't I always provided you with Blackberry? I just had a little hiccup in the lab. I'd be working on it right now, but apparently you lads are lonely. That ain't quite true, though, Mum, is it? You've been seen all over town doing all sorts of things. We don't imagine that Lionel Kashir is much of a source of pharmaceutical ingredients. Oh, but there, you'd be wrong, Constable. See, I had to replace some bits of lab equipment. And you've been roaming around the Golden District doing Lord knows what. Yes, well, I, um... Blackberry's made with herbal extracts. Why do you think it's called Blackberry? And the Victorial Memorial Camp? Two visits in the last week? I suppose them visits was for our benefit as well. Not at all. I was visiting the General. He also gets quite cross when I haven't seen him in a while. Oh, uh, so he... Uh, well, yes, yes, of course he would. Uh, right. Well, we can hardly expect Miss Boyle to ignore the General now, can we, lads? Uh, of course you would. Nonetheless, Miss Boyle, the lads have developed an appetite for your fine cooking, as it were. If they go hungry, chaos will ensue. We must insist that you devote your full and urgent attention to feeding them. Or what? Or we shall be compelled, willing or no, to provide your assistance willing or no, to Dr. Verloc. And that won't be cheery for either of us. I guess I can't blame them for being antsy. It's not fun going off Blackberry. And if they go back on regular joy, they'll get the cramps and they won't even remember why. Thank God I'm almost done with this new batch. Go back to your lab. Which I don't need marked anymore because I have a fucking waypoint there. Damn it! Buttons! Ah! Okay. Yeah, I think it took me like 20 minutes or so. I, I, I fell, ma'am. Ma'am, are you okay? Okay. You're fine. But yeah, Jesus Christ. It took me like probably 20 minutes of just walking around, attempting to find a goddamn canteen. And I had three in my goddamn storage. Of course I did. Of course it did. So it goes, isn't it? Damn it. Need to complete a few more quests. And then I should be just fine with running around, frolicking and jumping and crouching. Oh my You know, the usual. I could have been more charming to Robert Catesby. He could have helped Jesus. God damn it. it smells like burning chemicals. Oh shit. Do do do. Just just nope. Where's the fire extinguisher? 
How did this fire start? The lab equipment was off, right? Well, wow. shit. Okay, first things first. How bad is the damage to the lab? The triode and the crystallizer's broken. Ugh. Why do I get an N7 vacuum tube? Oh, God. My old chemistry box. It must be still in my old house. I was really hoping I'd never have to go back there. Okay. Let me go ahead and just unlock my back doors in case I need to use it again. Ah, blah, 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 blah. Gonna go ahead and just uh store some things away. Yes, indeed, they do. Yeah. Uh, wait, what? What? They just said it. Whatever. I'm gonna put the joy water back in here too. Okay. Uh, let's get for the bricks. Actually, I'm gonna sell those. But whatever. All right, to the container now. Give me this. I can sell those. Mm. Just kind of looking for things to sell at the moment. There we go. There we go. Let's go touch our child. Hey, child. Please stop crying. Please. This would be so much easier if I had someone to help. But it can't be your daddy because he's a... Well, I think he's a bit of a psychopath. And I suppose if I were with him, the moment you went to sleep, he'd want attention for himself and... Then I'd be so desperately tired I'd bludgeon him to death. And wouldn't we be in a pickle then? Indeed. Of course I got him light bulb. Yeah, I'm not going that way, fuck that. There's like three different doors I gotta go through there and it pisses me off every time. Okay. You know what? While we're here, let's just do this quest. Since it's like right down the fucking street. It's so much easier than, you know, not doing this quest. And hey, we might get all the points we need to properly get our uh, stuff weird. A very thin slice of pavement right there. We might get all the stuff we need indeed to do to level up our thing so I can actually run around town. Alright, so I kind of found this when I was trying to hide from some bobbies. And uh, it's a stitch in time. A scotch there, huh? Anyway. This is apparently Miss Pankhurst's area. But before we go in there... Uh, nope. Nothing here. Okay. Close this window. There we go. <laughs> of course, it's a little old lady. Hello, Miss Pankhurst. Mrs. Pankhurst! How have you been? Couldn't be better. I was having dizzy spells, but they've gone away. Isn't that wonderful? When things just sort of cure themselves? I've been meaning to go visit the Reform Club, but my old outfit... Uh, I seem to have filled out a bit since then, if you can believe that. Oh, remember when I made you that lovely nurse's uniform? For the Reform Club? You know, I've always wanted to visit there. Wanda's such a good friend of mine, but she never tells me what goes on there. I imagine they drink tea and discuss how to reform government and things like that. Sort of. Not exactly. Could you wangle me an invitation? 
keep asking my friend Wanda, and she always promises, but somehow it's always next week. I ought to be able to manage that. If you could get me an invitation, I'd be ever so thrilled. We could go together. I'll come by when you've got one. Your new outfit should be done by then. Ma'am, you don't I want... I to sew. Well, I don't wish it. I probably have become a seamstress like Mum. Hey, Sally. You seem smart. Wouldn't it be a good, you know, thing to learn now? Since you have a child? Huh? Dumb bitch. Not oh, this one. Uh, oh, yeah. Lionel's area's up there. God damn it. Ugh. Okay, so. Go back in a few days. Travel to the Boyle residence. Where was this one at? It is all the way down there. Eh. Well, off we go then. Yeah, I forgot this. Okay, let's just fucking run. If they're gonna stop me, they're gonna stop me. So, I mean, I'll be out before that anyway. This is one of the houses I broke into. Hello, well. Bloody well here, you know. You don't hear shit, buddy. Sir, are you aware that you're in the ground? He must be a war veteran. Just to have any legs on him. This is the, um... The Simon Says one, isn't it? Also, why is Plague spray painted outside here? Why isn't it spray painted in the other area? Weird. Oh! Little down, y'all! God damn it. What did I do? I didn't do jack shit. Y'all are just paranoid fucking wastrels. Or fucking... Communist, how about that? Yeah, fucking commies. You like that? Like being called a commie, you commie bastards? Fucking commies. Don't mind me just looking for a place to hide. Let's go ahead and lock that real quick. Oh yeah, I got my spiky one now too. Yeah, boy, yeah. Excellent. Go ahead and give me that torch. Some motherfuckers, let's go! We're going lethal this run. Put the rock down, motherfucker. Why do your rocks hurt so much, guys? What the hell? Need to pick that, damn it. Oh ho, motherfuckers! Why? Why can't I fucking equip it now? Because I'm in combat? Is that why? Huh? Now I see what the boys like about fighting. Jog on, love. Come on. <sighs> really, ma'am? Jesus Christ, I miss Arthur so much. Here we go. And that's for telling lies about me after school. Alrighty. Calm down, Sally. Calm down. Oh yeah, yeah, canteen. Come on, there's a cloth in there, I see it. Don't you fuck with me. Just 
taking a load off. Allow me to do that. Seriously though, I'm curious where this takes place in relation to Arthur's story. After, before, during, all three. Not that way. Uh, yeah, this way. Okay. Okay. If you want to fight, we don't have to fight, my dude. I'm just gonna take from your campfire here. And just jump on down here. Oh, lead pipe. I will take that. Would you mind terribly fucking off? Huh, how did I kill this guy? I thought it was at least one left. Apparently not. Gotta get my, uh... My inventory back up. Get my, my gold back up and stuff too. Yeah. Right, can I equip that axe now? Why? Is it is it too heavy? Is it a heavy weapon? Is that what it is? I can use a fucking lead pipe. I know that. I guess the because the hatchets are too heavy for Sally. Apparently, I don't know. It's dumb. Whatever. Okay, now I'm a proper race drill. Should be able to go frolicking around with the rest of them, huh? I'm not gonna pick that goddamn lock. Alright, uh, let's see. Maybe it goes down. Okay. At least we can run to our fullest here, huh? So many beautiful plants. And only some of them are lethal. At least we could have made them to I need to find like a garden of magic mushrooms to just pick a shit ton so I can get that goddamn spray stuff. Because that seems to be Sally's go to. Fuck bees. Oh, lilies. I didn't exactly mean to do that, but whatever. White Tree Park, business, business, garden of delight. Yeah, the entire map's changed, so I have no idea where shit's at in relation to other shit. Take those roses of Gilead. Yeah, damn. Where are the Americans? Where are the Russians? I suppose we should also look for the uh, the hatch here. Is that the, the Boyle house, maybe? It might be. Like, I don't even care what the hell I'm taking. I just, I just want it. It could be two feathers for all I care, but... I want it. Because when you have nothing, everything's a blessing. Okay. Why are we holding train whistles? a curfew. You don't want some fritz to shoot you dead, do you? Sorry, sir. Let's get you home. You had another fight with your mum, didn't you? Why don't I put in a good word? Miss, uh, Mrs. Boyle, I've got a young lady out here who, um... I'm sorry. They don't seem to be at home. What? 
Let me go in. They not at home. Let me take you to the station for a cup of tea. What happened? Let me in. If you don't go in, miss, a cup of tea's best. What did she do? What did she do? What, what did she do? Ah, so that's when she uh, killed her family. Oh, cool. We're having a, a past memory here. That's oh, him. Father, I think. Children. What did she do? By the authority of the occupation authority, of course, all children who are under the age of 13 on July 22nd should be registered to the town clerk. Please present your children at the Wellington Wells train station on the morning of July uh, 22nd at 9 a.m. for her transport to Germany. Enclosed is a list of clothing and supplies they will need for their voyage. Note that if your child has issues with bedwetting, rubber pants and uh, servettes must be provided. Whatever. Prior to the voyage, school-aged children should attend an all-day orientation on July 9th at the Wellington Wells Comprehension School. Bring a lunch. Miss Victoria Bing will conduct a orientation for younger children on July 20th with songs and games to prepare them for their trip to Germany. It is imperative that parents portray this travel as an exciting opportunity for the youngsters as to avoid anxiety at the train station. We must assure that the children's absence will only be temporary. Again, Victoria Bing. Like, weird. Do you remember committees? Lovely day. That's nice. Can I pick anything up here? Or is that all? Father Boyle. Let me in. Mother, and then. And Mum said, You don't have to worry about the train. No one's going on the train. Shut up, Sally. You're a big girl. Stop crying. Glad I found this flashlight. Or else this would be a pain in the ass, huh? Either I've got the bloody weight of the world on my shoulders, or I need to drop a few things I'm carrying. Why does she, um... Why does she have a chemistry box here? It seems like this was just a reason to have like an expose here, right? It was just kind of like an excuse to make her go to this house. Because she didn't start chemistry until after she like left with her mother. Or after she her mother did this, right? Back with these fucking axes, man. Okay, what else do I fucking have that's like weighing me down here? These bricks? Get rid of them. This pie? Eat it. This grape juice? Drink it. These 99 bottles? Nah. Even though that's definitely doing something. Dead plaguey, huh? Ah, oh, thank you for your... Mushroom contribution. Stay back! And I got the fucking plague. Great. Great, now you're in fact with the fucking plague. Good job, Sally.
Hey, you stay in there. care of, huh? Okay, what else can I drop now? I'm one pound overweight? Huh. There. All oh, better. Incidentally, can I craft the, uh... What cures plague? <laughs> Do I know how to cure plague? Damn it. Scroll. Yeah, that. Okay, so I need a potato and I need rowan berries, which I have none of. Excellent. Let's find some fucking rowan berries. Uh, okay. God damn it, dude. Fuck off. One, two, three. Flashlight. One, two, three. Flashlight. One, two, three. Okay, we're good. I'm gonna chuck something in case I need to run. There we go. Have time to go find some rowan berries now, huh? Okay, rowan berries, rowan berries. There's some. One. To who? Excellent, we can grab some of these too. Yeah. What was that? Sorry? Oh, okay. There's one I already got. Rolling berries, rolling berries, rolling berries. What is the, um. Oops, what, 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 what does the plague do? Reduces speed and stamina! Fuck! So, really, nothing bad. I guess shit. There we go. We're fine. I forgot the uh, the mist comes out at night. I feel like a mule carrying Damn it. all this, and just about as fast too. Where are my uh, bottles over here? There, we'll draw like 10. That'll free up plenty of herbal remedies and stuff. Honestly, I need every, every kind of herb right now, so I mean, picking everything's not a, not a bad idea. There's some Rowans. 
I need three more, I think, right? One, two, three. Perfect. Let's go pick these as well, just since we're out and about. Never hurts to stock up while we're out, you know? Maybe I should get that perk that uh, increases the amount you collect from them. Chuck something in case I need to run. Good God. So much. Okay. Can I just fast travel while I'm over encumbered? Curious. No. Dumb. But can I make the plague thing now? No, I need a crafting table. Of course I do. Why wouldn't I? Okay. Well, let's, uh... There we go. Okay. Back to the map. Back to this. Back to that. Wham bam. Thank you, ma'am. And we're back at George's home. Mind the gap, please. Okay. I think the chemistry workbench was right here, yeah. Nope, it's another room. Of course, it's another room. Oh, it's always in the other room. Okay. Use it. Go ahead and make this. Perfect. Oh, it makes five, too. Excellent. Um, no more plague. I got better. Achievement unlocked. Nice. Uh, it's 10 p.m. Hmm. Okay. Daijo Now, considering our house is just like right around the corner here, so. I wonder if it's possible to have a uh, a spawn where you're not like next to one of those, you know? When well, your house is not next to one of the hatches. Baby cries, of course it does. Right, still just as race rule. Right. Now I just need to replace all my chemicals. Stuart. I've got to talk to Stuart. Maybe he's got the chemicals I need squirreled away somewhere. Ah, nine skill points. Excellent. Which means we can get this now. Once I reselect it because it doesn't... Okay, there we go. Three, three, uh, three, eight. Okay. I think we'll get this one next. Just so we can get more uh, resources since most of Sally seems to be <sighs> grabbing that stuff. You know what I mean? Also, what's this one again? Uh, bus from well-fed, hydrated, and yeah, lasts longer. Uh, that's not really too important to me right now. That one doesn't matter. This one... That one might matter a lot for Sally. Being able to sneak up and bop people in the face. Anyway... Oh, give up some possessions. Or I'm not gonna win a race with a garden snail. Sally, calm it down, will ya? Being dramatic. Okay, I'm gonna manually sort sort stuff. Damn it, wrong one. I thought I was, you know, putting not taking. Okay, there we go. Do rid of those. Oh, I keep one frying pan as a backup for that. But, uh, I'll sell the other one. Okay, um, get rid of that, get rid of that, keep that, get rid of the jimmy bar. I can always make more if I need them. Get rid of the rubbing alcohol, I'll sell the scotch, get rid of that, get rid of the coarse linen, saltpeter, that stuff, that stuff, rot chicken leg, all of this. Oh, I got more canteens, excellent. Selling the records. 
Get rid of the uh, histoplasm. Keep one plague syringe, because we'll probably need it. Get rid of those, get rid of those, get rid of those, and those, and those, and the feathers. I think that's pretty much everything I want to get rid of. Ooh, flour, sugar, whatever it was. Excellent. All right, child. Here, it's time to be fed. Couldn't you breastfeed, Sally? Sweet dreams. I don't know why you needed milk. I wish you could dream about the countryside. When we were small, my sisters and I loved spending holidays at my grandmother's. I didn't realize it was so mum could spend a few days without having to worry about keeping everyone safe and alive. It does something to your head. Oh my god. Being a mum. Can you just go to sleep? I guess we can, uh, sleep for an hour. Okay. First things first. Before we go out, we're gonna fucking make all the goddamn milk we can. Just to have it. Oh, I need a water filter. Great. Okay. What do I need to make a water filter? Can I make a water filter? I can. Go ahead and just make two of those, shall we? Here's the filter. Filter water. We get a few uses out of these, don't I? Excellent. Okay. I'll go ahead and put these up here after I make milk out of them. One more. There we go. Also, we fed her twice but haven't had a changer. That's weird. Baby milk. Oh, I got four more canteens. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. Well, if we ever need canteens, I guess we do get them back, so that's nice. Just got some baby milk on me. Cool, cool, cool. Much safer than mum's milk. Is it? Okay. That might as well be why. Okay. Anyway, let's, uh... Fuck, never mind. Let's... First of all, let's change outfits before I forget. Already did. Never mind. Why am I suspicious? Breaking curfew, that's why. Okay. We'll wait till 7 then. Actually, it's closer to 8, to be honest, but whatever. Okay. Everyone's happy and jolly now, aren't they? Okay. So where do I need to go to find this at? Visit the chemist. He is in the other area. That's fine. Why can't I fast travel from here? Can I fast travel now? I don't actually like long walks. I'll get over. Sally. Right, I'm trespassing here. Fuck, I forgot. Uh. Bye, loves. No, oh, fuck, we got right there. Okay. I need to head north. Excellent. I'm tired of hearing her breathe. Is 
it's only a little bit better than hearing Arthur breathe, so... <sighs> Wait, I can run now. Yeah! I forgot I got the perk! Hi, officer, don't mind me, just running! Running and running and running, running and running, running and jumping and spinning, yeah! Woo! <sighs> Look off, doctor. Hey. Well, if it isn't Sally Boyle. Himself is upstairs tinkering. When will he be? It's been weeks now. It's a device you left behind. Apparently, it's quite clever and complex. I just came to buy some chemicals. Over my cold, dead body. Fiona. It's not just borrowing my man while you were here. I could have got over that. It's the ambitions you put into him. Fiona, I'm sorry. He wants to be more than a village chemist. How's that, I says? Will you go to London to study to be a doctor? Will you take over Hayworth Labs? She still wouldn't take you back, I says. But you've sold him the stars. And now he can't barely see where he's going. Maybe he liked me because I thought he could be more. You ever think of that? Get out of here. Get out, you witch. And don't let the door hit you in the ass on the way out. Bitch, I wanted to sell you some stuff. Officer, she's not... She's not being very happy. You're looking fine today. right though. Lovely day for it. Get out of here. Get out, you witch. And don't let the well, door hit you in the ass on the way out. She's mellowed. Fiona said Stuart's been working on my old pituitary extractor. Maybe... Maybe I can get it back from him later, when she's not in the shop. Wait. Harry Cavendish. He still works for the labs, doesn't he? And he owes me a favor. I'll drop by his house. Uh, right on the corner. Perfect. Oh, I wanted to sell some stuff, so I mean... Whatever. Well, so the pituitary thing was... Uh... Sally's? Okay. Harry? Okay. It's Sally. Uh, Sally Boyle. Just a moment. Just a moment, damn it. I can't get to the store as fast as I used. Sally Boyle. Ah. Uh. I haven't seen you in a dog's age. What? What happened to your eyes? Oh, this little thing. The doctor used miscalculated the brominating reaction and it blew up in my face. Then he convinced Dr. Verloc it was my fault. So I dropped the sound. That weasel. Oh, you don't have to pretend you're interested in the tedious old lab. How's the glamorous life of an experimental chemist? It's a bit blocked at the moment. Can't get mercury amalgam. Did you know they vent gallons of it onto rat home? Oh, well, you wouldn't. You've moved on to greener pastures. I'm sorry. I thought Anton knew what he was doing. Oh, I don't blame you for leaving us all behind. When love fades, you have to move on. Well, I'm sure you'll figure out where to find some amalgam. Maybe I will. But someone's got to prove it was Dr. Hughes's fault you lost your eyes. You know you're right. He could hurt someone else. Is there... any evidence that it was his fault? You know, now that you mention it, his lab notes. He keeps them in his doctor bag. I bet they're all the evidence I need. Oh, you know what? I bet they'd also tell me how to extract the amalgam you need out of the stuff the lab is piping onto Rat Home. I'll get you his lab notes. Here's where he lives. Come back, and I'll tell you where to find the pump outlet. Don't go anywhere. Wouldn't dream of it. Okay, so... I think... He's, he's falling around instead of... It's hilarious. Okay, anyway. I think... This takes place before... Arthur? Simply because uh, when we... Uh, had... Talked to... The chemist guy before... He had... Uh, talked about... 
Dr. Verloc taking another one of his girls away. Not just Sally, but another girl. I'm guessing he took Fiona at some point, which uh, is not well and good. Okay, let's see here. The fucking dig spot here somewhere, where is it at? Right here. Also, who would have guessed Sally was part of the uh, the Reform Club? Not I. Not I. Okay, y'all both shocked me. Can I fucking unlock this now? I said, can I unlock this now? God damn it. Apparently the answer is no. The answer is no, no, I cannot. Can I, can I go now, please? Seriously, is it just me or does the women, the old ladies, sound like they're just like screaming autistically? Fuck. Hi. I'm not seen. I was lost, but now I'm seen. Is this a doctor's place? It is the doctor's place. You can't say Dr. Hughes doesn't have a keen sense of style. I mean, you could say that. It'd be very true since we're kind of. Fucking hobble here. I oh, just barely got out of there in time. What are you doing now? Uh, he might actually smell me. Yeah. Oh gods. You guys want to bugger <laughs> off a little bit? I could really make some medical supplies, and uh, a couple of those knockout syringes would be great as well. Perfect. Okay. All right. Actually, before we do that, knockout syringe, I need knockout juice. And knockout juice, of course, I need a chemistry set to fucking make it. Use this real quick. Excellent. Okay, well, I guess while I'm here. I did not see me, but I'm not gonna complain. That's a fire. Oh, it's not a fire. It's uh, it is a fire, but I mean, it's not a fire. Fire, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Oh, lovely. I love picking stuff and nothing's being inside of it. Get me here. There we go. Okay. I think we already read that before. I know you're there. This must be the bag Harry wanted. Yoink.
someone smells naughty. Fuck. Oh, time to go. Wasn't this? Yeah, there was like a hole in the wall the last time I fucking came here. I wonder As Arthur. If would fit in here. She'd need to be able to breathe. Some source of oxygen and soundproofing in case she starts crying. I bet Lionel could make something like that. Baby transport, really? Wow. Totally not weird at all, Sally. Right, I can run and jump and shit. God damn it. I think it was right in this group over here. I just need to get over this fucking thing without being spotted quick. Okay. I'm concealed. I'm concealed. Doesn't matter, I still got it. Fuck. Run? Sally, run? Oh, I'm overweight. God damn it. Sally, Sally, run? No, no, Sally, don't run. You're overweight, love. Here we go. Now we run. We'll have plenty of that around here, actually. God damn it! Captainania, why? Why do you do this to me? You know what? Actually, just eat and drink something. That should lighten us up enough. There we go. Let's jog on then. Him by just knocking this guy's door? No. Okay, not yet. Okay. I was wondering if I could, like, trigger it to where, uh, if I knock on his door, it'll interrupt them chasing me. But nope. Apparently, they thought of that. There's still other bugs in the game, but not that. Damn. Too bad. Ooh. There we go. Out we go. Or just search this one. Excellent. Knock knock. Harry? It's Sally. Uh, Sally Boyle. Just a moment. Just a moment, dammit. I can't get to the door as fast as I used. Literally just use the same exact lines. Did you get Dr. Hughes's bag? I've got it. Aren't you Brillo? Well, here's the formula you'll need. You can get to Ratome via the maintenance tunnels. There's a code at the door. It's 1649. I really am sorry about the accident. I thought Anton had a handle on things. Well, now we know. Cheerio. Like other babies, Gwen needs to have her diaper changed. Attend to her before time runs out. I'll need a few things before I go. I can get there from any hatch now that I've got the code. Okay, so yeah, remember the rat home area? Um, turns out, yeah, it's, it's you need a code. I went there before, and uh, yeah, that stupid bitch is still there. Yeah, is there any other store around this area? There's, yeah, there is right here, the shady dealer and stuff. Okay, perfect. Uh, we need to go this way. Actually, before we do anything, how about this? What was I gonna get? Let's grab that one. And then I can uh, get this one to increase deals. And then. 
we can grab. Uh, actually, no, yeah, let's see if we can grab that one. No? Hmm. No. We'll save up for this one so I can, uh. Actually, I want the one after it. Damn. That might be a little while. We'll, we'll, we'll save up, I guess. I can buy this one. Fuck, let's buy all the ones we can right now. There we go. Everything. We have everything now. Everything. Tear stained letter. And the rattle maxis code. Perfect. Okay. Anyway, we need to go uh, down, left, right, right. Okay. Right, and then we need to hang a left in the next. Either I've got the bloody weight of the world on my shoulders, or I need to drop a few things I'm carrying. Here. We'll be fine, Sally. I just need to talk to the shady dealer here. Sir? Can I have buy stuff from you? Look to buy and sell. I look around? The pipe down reflects burning damage. Durable. I want that. <laughs> After we sell some stuff, though. <laughs> Need to make some money, you know what I mean? Mm, here's some scotch, my dude. Also, have some records. I don't need these. Have these metal bits. Have these as well. Have these rotten mushrooms. Do I want to get rid of anything else? I don't think that I do. Not at this moment. Actually, yeah. It's coffee beans. Okay. Now then, what do you have? Before we buy the pipe down, let's see if there's anything else that I need. I do need some of these. Some of these. Electroshocker. Yeah. Okay. I don't need any of this. What I need is right here. Okay. So. One, two... Go three. One, two, three... One, two, three, four. What's the broken helmet? Receive less damage. Mm. Okay, so I got some of those, some of those. Let's grab the pipe down. And I think that'll be everything we really need at the moment. Yeah. Excellent. Get rid of this umbrella. Yeah. Am I not using a lead pipe as well? Cheery, bye. Yeah, there we go. Cheery, bye, huh? Oh, right, I can't sell items that have been used. Two versus three, yeah. I'll finish off the lead pipe here, then I'll use this one, which is better. Mm, it's gonna be good. I couldn't help. Okay. Be beautiful. Well, I think since we just need to go basically back home to change her diaper and whatnot, uh, we should be able to. Hmm. We need to talk to Lionel again. Yeah. Well, okay. What what we'll do is we'll go here. We'll go talk to Lionel. We will get our um, pass thing. Yeah, that'll, that'll work. Okay. So switch. Store all crafting components. Store that. Uh, store that. Store these. Get rid of the torch. I'll get rid of these. I got the berries. The berries are fine. Okay. Now we'll leave. Hold up. No, we won't. I lied. Okay. Mercury amalgam. Toxic wastewater? Oh, okay. Okay, first of all. Oh, thank God I stopped. I 
right, so hallucinogen stuff I need a lot more stuff for, so we don't have to worry about that. Let's just make more of this then. More knockout juice. Knockout syringes, let's go. Also, we're gonna need a diaper, so... There we go. Excellent. Perfect, now I have 90 fucking knockout syringes. So I can actually sneak up on people and use them. Perfect. Don't think I should need any more. I think I think 90 is a good number, and we shouldn't need to get any more, right? Also, why are all these here, and they weren't when Arthur came to play? You know? Weird, right? So what we'll do to end this uh, episode? We'll go up to Lionel's. We will partake in. Hold on. This plague. Where's the other one at? Didn't I have another syringe that like did stuff for me? Never mind. Well, we'll uh, go up to Lionel's. We will buy his. Uh, God, what is it? The Reform Club pass that he had. Then we'll also talk to him about the quest that we currently have. About uh, making a bag for the baby, I guess. And then with the reform pass, we can go back down here, and we can... Can I make fucking flash? I'm sorry. I'm, I need to know. Can I make flash yet? I can. I just need more night bloom and flower. Okay. So we can grab some flower. I think Lionel sold flower. Actually, it wouldn't be a bad idea, since we have a good amount of money right now, to just, uh stock up on every kind of supply that he has. Afternoon. I've got another little tinkering job for you, Lionel. I do so enjoy these little commissions. No one else challenges my imagination quite like you do. That's a rather odd bag. What would you need that for? Oh, that's for certain compounds that have to be kept at a very specific temperature and pressure. Aren't you clever? Hmm. Well, it might take a little while, but... I think I can figure it out. Come on back in a little while. And come back in two days. Excellent. Okay, barter. What's your fancy? Alright, this flour and sugar. We'll go ahead and just buy the entire stack. Tea leaves. I don't think I need these for anything. Grab a form I'll grab both of them just in case I need both. I don't know. I sell anything. Oh my god, I can make these. Well, I can sell these, holy crap. Yeah, let's... I'll just sell ten. There we go. Earned a nice pretty penny from that. Ciao, darling. Thank you, Lionel. Alright, so now we can go back down here. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this waypoint. I'm also gonna just fast travel down there, because I don't feel like walking all the way back. Deedly doo Deedly doo Out of the smelly darkness into... Well, not much better. Hold on. All right, let's go ahead and store our equipment, shall we? Go. Lovely. Anything else I need to get rid of right now? Mm, no. Okay. Perfect. Okay, so now we need to go this way, and then this way, and then... Well, this way? Yeah. Meow. Miss Pankhurst! I got you an invitation. Are you sure you really want to go to the Reform Club together? I'm not sure that nurse's uniform still fits. Oh, no. Oh, I'm not much of a night owl anyway. I just hate being excluded, you know. Oh, I've made your outfit for you. It's ever so slimming. I think you'll look wonderful in it. Oh, you always look wonderful. You're such a dear. What would I do without you? Come by any time you need something new to wear. It's such a joy making clothes for you. You always make me look so good. 
Same to you, Miss Pankhurst. Yeah. <laughs> what do you got, though? A padded, reinforced suit? Really? Now I'm conformed in the village. Nice. So, army boots. Heavy armor, but noisy. They exhaust from stamina faster. Yeah, no. Exhaust from stamina faster. No. Boxing shoes. Run faster and longer. Several less damage when falling. These might be a good thing to have. Let's see. What, uh, what makes you go faster, though? Yeah, we'll grab the boxing shoes. Um... Grab the reinforced suit as well. So this just conforms to the parade district. Or the, the village. The suit conforms to the parade district. Gotcha. Okay. So what's the difference between a sneak thief outfit and this one? Weird. Hmm. I just don't know if I want to be carrying around all this clothing. That's the thing. I guess if I ever need to go to the, the parade district, I can just put on my normal suit, right? So, we'll put that on. Also, that's not a nurse outfit, by the way. Just throwing it out there. Okay, perfect. I think we're good on our outfit now. Oh, we also got three skill points to use, which I don't think I can use anywhere. Yeah, nope, okay. Fair enough. So I guess now we can go to the Reform Club anytime we want, huh? Oh man, look at that increase in just speed right there. It's nice, it's, it's so nice. I love being able to just zoom around. You know, it's quite lovely, really. God damn it! Why do I keep locking my door? Or did that lock itself? I don't know. Oh, nice gloves! Damn, Miss Pankhurst, this padded suit's lovely. Okay, let's go change her diaper, and then we'll end things here. Yes, yes, Mama's coming. All right, time to change your... Why does it require pure water? That's weird. Why does it require water to change a diaper? Um, Where were my canteens at? Here we go. I can get a water filter. Come here, you. I might as well just not make the water filters ahead of time. Since I can make them here. Like, while I'm standing here, you know, and just put them in. So, yeah, fuck making more at, at, at a time that I need. Alright, there we go. Pure water. Now let's change her fucking diaper. Amazing what you can get used to. I look like a fucking clown. Your mother looks like a clown. Okay. I really don't want to hold you, child. Real quick, before we end, though, I'm curious. How long do we have to wait until that one's done? Three more days? Okay. Come here, child. There was a lady who lived in a lake. A powerful alchemist was in love with her, but she refused to be his, not until he'd taught her all his secrets. The alchemist laughed and laughed and said, What does a pretty girl want with chemistry? And that made her angry. But he humored her, and he showed her his laboratory, and she amazed him with her learning. Her powers grew and grew, until one day she was as great a chemist as he was. Some even said greater. He started to be afraid. Surely he'd know that she'd use his secrets against him someday. What he didn't foresee was that she'd leave him for the general. Oh, I'm rubbish at stories, aren't I? Okay. So Sally used to be with Verloc, Verloc, and then she's with the general or something, and then she left the general after she had the kid or something. I don't know. That fucking poster's weird. Anyway, we will uh, we'll end things here. 
and then uh, when we come back, we will... What quest do we have? Maybe transport, waiting, waiting, and then Ratholm, I guess. Yeah, we'll, we'll head to Ratholm. Lovely. Indeed. So, until then, everyone. Bye.